Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los. And if you notice the craving bar, we got it down all the way to zero. And our spirit energy is down a little bit. So let's go over here and talk to Oku because we're going to take him out of our party pretty soon. You are a tenacious little creature. In the face of your hunger, most would show their bellies. But you push ahead. You remind me of a Wolverine. Standing your ground, perhaps without hope, against threats larger than you can comprehend. I have no choice. Others will be harmed unless I rid myself of this hunger. I felt much the same when I brought the last Spirit Eater into the barrel of my clan. Though it saddens me that one such as yourself would be the victim of this curse. For the sake of Rashomon, it is good that it is you bearing this burden. I had some questions for you. Yes? Eh, never mind. You don't have anything other to say, really. You know, I've noticed the volume for the voices is kind of low, so let's go to the gameplay audio. You know what? I can't turn up the voice volume anymore, unfortunately. I guess we'll just have to deal with the low volume of some of the voices. Some of them are, like, really low. So, whatevs. Okay, so we're in this graveyard, and our spirit energy is down to 93. So, let's check this out. Okay, here we have a heavy shield plus 3 and about a little bit over 6,400 gold pieces in that one. Now, in this grave, we get an armor. What do we have here? Plus four scale mail, but then almost 1,900 gold pieces. So I think we get more gold out of this other one. So we're going to disturb this one right now. Let's take everything and then mm -hmm. let's let's move everybody yes. over here. Yes. And we have so. party AI mode turned off. And why don't we equip ourselves with? A kukri, so we don't do that much damage because we do kind of Time want to control how much game. damage that we do to this guy. Yeah. We don't want to kill him, we want to get him down to near death, after all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, almost yeah. there. We are doing quite a bit of damage yeah. on this guy with each hit. Yeah. One more ought to do yeah. it. Okay, that's good enough. Let's devour the spirit. Oh, what? Well, at least that was enough to get us back up Look to 100%. All right. Oh, and then we got to level up for Gan. Not bad. Okay, we'll turn party AI mode back on. And... Come this way. You know what? We'll have Sophia come over here and grab whatever essences are in this treasure bag. Yeah, a bunch of earth ones. Okay. Let's see. We might be switching you out with that strength belt in the near future, Sophia, because... Yes. I don't think you're really getting too much of a benefit from that other belt you're wearing. So let's level up Gand. We'll recommend his skills. And then we have another feat to pick. Unfortunately, what happened to the other epic spells that he had access to? I don't understand. What happened? What does it recommend? Great Charisma? Mm. Well, that'll boost his base Charisma up to 17. Let's see. Eh, you know what? I might be actually willing to do that this time. Because I don't think there's really anything better that we would get an immediate benefit. What does this do? Attack of opportunity, your allies gain a plus two circumstance bonus on attack and damage rolls for one round. Um, no thanks. We'll do great charisma. All right. Well, that should about do it. I believe so. 
So let us go back to the Veil vale Theater. We'll put our regular weapons back on. Right, let's go this way. And we're not gonna take Oku with this. Oku has quite a bit of dialogue, but we will lose influence with them because we will have an option to gain a bunch of spirit essences. And if you actually take them, then he'll be mad at you for in the manner of which you take them. So instead, we'll replace him. You have returned. Do you wish to travel together again? I need you to travel with me again. You will need to thin your ranks if you need my assistance. There are too many traveling with you already. Oku, I think you've earned a rest. As you like, little one. I'll return to the Molson Tier Gate and slumber for a time. Until you return for me. Very well. I am ready. And I think the rest of us are ready too, so let's go on to Thaymount, but first we have to go into the Shadow Plane at the back of the Veil vale Theater. So let's go on this way. No, we don't want to close that door. We want to go in here. Enter the portal. Yes, like I was saying, if you take Oku with you, he'll have a lot to say in, because they will try to get you to consume spirits as a demonstration and if you do it then he'll lose or you'll lose influence with him so let's talk to this guy keeper of doors state your command tell me where these doors lead the first door incoming visitors the second door containment the third door disposal the fourth door outgoing where does the fourth door lead the fourth door is malleable it leads to many places but only to those places which it knows I like to open one of the doors. State your command. What door shall I open? The fourth door outgoing. State the destination. The Academy of Shapers and Binders in Thay. That path was shut by the Red Wizard Nephris when she last departed the Room of Doors. Nephris? That would mean that my mother really is the Red Wizard who's been visiting Lyanna. I suppose that shouldn't surprise me. No, it shouldn't, because that was revealed to us. Shall I break the seals she set in place? Yes, break the seals. The golem is silent for a long moment, its face impassive. You begin to wonder if it has gone dormant once again. But then, the seals are withdrawn, the way is open. Okay, so here's a portal of Thay. Let's go into it. Portal leads to the Academy of Shapers and Binders of Thay. Let's enter it. All right, here we go, and if you don't know very much about Thay and the Red Wizards of Thay, they really are a nasty sort. They're a bunch of backstabbers, they're racists, they engage in slavery hmm? of any non-human. So let's put the Forest Queen Blessing into Gant's Quick Keys and then we'll use it to cast bark skin on himself and then we'll put on premonition and the rest of the buffs yes. and we'll do the rest of the buffs in the usual manner because we will be getting in a battle pretty soon so like I was saying about Thay Thay really is a country of bastards yeah they they pretty much enslave everyone who isn't a human. And the richest and most powerful people are, well, gain their fortune through the slave trade. And the most powerful are, they're called like Zulkirs or something like that. And they are the highest ranking red wizards of like certain universities or colleges or something like that yes and it's like an I'm oligarchy they run the country and whatever they say goes enemies have fallen upon us all right do we have any other buffs to put on you know what 
Let's just continue doing this spell mantle. That's six seconds per level. Nah, we'll Drift save that for later. Alright, and... Who should get the improved mage yes. armor? Now, looks like Gan and Sophia both have plus five AC bonuses. Kaylin has plus six, oh, so she won't get any benefit. The captain, of course, has plus ten from his dread wraps. That's the only reason he's wearing I mean, that. I don't no, really no. like the look of it. So I guess we'll put it the improved mage armor on Gan because he has the lowest armor class. If you've also noticed, everyone else has their long range weapons equipped except for the captain because the captain is going to rush in and be the tank while everybody will take pot shots. Well now. They are want? supporting characters. Okay, so let's go on this way. And Thaymount, which is the path to the academy, is in a mountainous region. I don't even know how they were able to build such a prestigious university here in the middle of the mountains. I guess it's really defensible, but let's show their defenses to a thing me, or two. They have some gnolls here. Some gnoll guards? If Academy Elite name, Guard, which are gnolls, which are like jackal nuisance. men, I'm Shall guessing. Shall we indulge ourselves? And I don't know if they're enslaved jackalmen or they're just hired guards. So let's just take care of these gnolls one by one. And there's no one running down. You, you are so you shoot at that. Oh, no, we got some up there, huh? Of okay. Course. All right. You know what? Why don't we cast a spell at these guys? You know, since you are guards for a an academy of wizards what would be a good spell why don't we cast horrid wilting Let's see if that works Let's see what happens if we cast it on them and captain you just run up and take care of that one and then we'll just come up here oh we got some wyverns up there okay oh looks like one wilted away to death and the other's almost dead and then an and arrow finished him off and we got a maverick fire elemental. Oh, okay. So if our spirit energy yeah. went down, we'd be able to... Whoa, why'd you attack him? He was dead already. Alright, well I guess we'll grab this gold. So if our spirit energy was down a little bit, we'll have the option of consuming them. Let's grab this gold over here and then we, I think we got some more gold over here too. Yep. Step with me. Come on. All right. Follow and it looks like they're starting out neutral. These far elementals. So we would have to do provoke spirits in order to get them to attack. Oh, normally those things are very hostile. Kind of remind me of like the burning bush in the Book of Exodus. All right, let's go up and Time attack for a these things. The Why are you guys casting spells? Stop that! Just attack with the arrows. The captain's got this all taken care of. Oh, Gan! You two don't cast anything. Okay, somebody wasted a storm of vengeance spell. That was probably Caitlyn. So, I guess we'll grab all of those essences. And I guess we'll pass them off to Sophia. Let's see, anything else we should give? Yeah, we got one more over here, okay. All right, that ought to do it. Now let's go and I guess we'll consume one of the fire elementals. Since our spirit energy is down to 94. You know, we'll increase our craving. And we spent all that time getting it down to zero. Well, 
Oh, I guess they're out of range. See, I only want to provoke one of them, not the other one. That way, when we leave, then we'll be able to consume the uh, energy of the other one. Hmm? Okay, yes. so we turned party yes. AI mode off, and what then we're going to move so? everybody away. See if this works. Okay, it did. Good. Alright, so we don't want to do too much damage. So let's equip ourselves with a Kukri. And we'll take those off. Okay. He's trying to knock us down. That's not nice. Well, I suppose devouring its spirit isn't nice either. Okay, why are we only doing like one attack? Are we missing? I guess we are. We're not really doing that much damage, so let's put another Kukri in and then double attack should get its HP down quicker. Okay, that should do it. Okay, it's near death. Let's devour spirit now. Alright, spirit energy is back up to 100%, and we get a brilliant spirit essence out of it. Very good. So we'll put our regular weapons back in, and we'll grab all of these other essences that have dropped, and we'll pass them off to Sophia. And then we will open up this gate. Now, it looks like we have two patrolling gnolls. So let's turn party AI mode back on. Yes. And let's have everybody start shooting Seems arrows at those. Well, now. What In fact, that should probably take some of Gan's arrows. And have the captain shoot, but you know what? It's too late now. He's just running up on these things. Alright, got some more gold. Oh, yeah, yeah, shoot that up there. Yeah, thanks. Enemies have fallen upon us. Shoot that guy up there. He's, he's almost dead. Okay, there he goes, and then you got another one up there. Okay, there's the gate. I shall do so. What, you can't, uh. You can't hit him from here? I guess he's on the second wall, not the first wall. It sort of looked like he was on the first wall, but he's not. Okay, so I guess we just have to roll on in here to the area between the two walls. I think it's called a murder zone or something like that. Okay, so we'll go up in here. This is where the archers would start taking pot shots at you while you're trying to open up the gates. And then we have a... I think this is the captain of the guard right here. Oh no, that was the captain. The other one was just a regular guard. And he's not going down right away, but now he is, so we'll get the goal off this guy. And I'm trying to get over there. Alright, let's grab this stuff. We've got adamantine full plate, a plus five hall beard, and over 10,000 gold. Hey, thanks guys for taking those archers out for me. You click on the ladder, you're up here instantly, and then you can grab the gold and climb back down. Okay, and I guess we'll... Let's put the full plate armor into the bag of holding because that thing weighs a ton. We'll put that in there too. Okay, now before we enter the academy, let's go up these ladders and pick up the gold that's just lying there. Alright, 1200 gold, we'll go back down, let's go over here to the other one. Okay, let's grab this one. We get uh, almost 500 gold, but not really. Why isn't it letting me climb back down? Am I stuck here? What gives? Come on, let me climb back down, will you? Okay. Well, that was kind of weird. Okay, so let's... Oh, there's a sign here. 
This sign bears the name of the and coat of arms of the Academy of Shapers and Binders. Across the bottom of it, it is its motto, Nothing is Immutable. Okay, let's just go on inside then. And this is where Sophia taught before she went on her adventure to discover the captain in the barrel. So let's check this place out. Well, it looks like we got two dead red wizards on the ground here. I guess that's the legacy of the uh, the coup that was going on before. Who's this, Master Joffy? Let's see what he has to say. Sophia, thank the heavens I spotted you first. You might have been killed. Master Joffy, I was worried that you might have... I mean, I was told that my mother... I'm afraid so, my dear. I'm so sorry. If there was anything I could have done for her, I'd have done it. Nefris was a friend. But there was no stopping Ahriman once he'd gained momentum. I'm sure she dragged some of Ahriman's pawns screaming to their deaths as she... as she made her stand. I know you did your best, and... and I'm glad you did not share my mother's fate. He's looking for you, you know. He's told the... surviving masters to keep an eye out for you and your friends here. I'm not sure where he is now. Word is he's trying to find a way to kill the Founder, but that may prove difficult. You mean the Founder of the Academy? Yes, the one with the mad dream to start all of this. The fact is, no one's ever seen her before. The popular belief is that she lived most of her life in a private sanctum beneath the Academy. But who knows how that got started. The Academy was founded hundreds of years ago. Now, I don't teach numerology, but unless I miscalculate, I would say Ahriman is, oh, a few hundred years too late. <laughs> so he's trying to kill someone who's most likely already dead. Yes, and he is a very driven, shall we say, individual. Even if the founder is dead, he won't stop until he's seen her with his own eyes. Unfortunately, even though he might be busy, you have the rest of the Academy to worry about. He has told faculty to avoid confrontation, but to everyone else, you're intruders here. And given your blood ties to the old regime, Sophia dear, I don't think threatening detention will have the impact it used to. Many here will be after your job. Perhaps there are still some left who might aid us in making Ahriman's tenure a short one. He didn't... he didn't kill all the masters of the Academy, did he? Not all. Just those who resisted Araman, or who he thought might resist. Master Poriset is working in his lab right now, and Master Inaris is teaching class. They may be willing to help you. I would avoid the others if possible, my dear. They partook in your mother's fate. Oh, which reminds me, I have something for you, Sophia. Nephris would have meant to pass it to you, and I couldn't bear to see it confiscated by Araman. Here, take it. I must return to my classroom before I am missed. You'll find me there if I can be of any further help. Oh, looks like we got a level up for Kaylin. Okay. Yes. For just 500 XP, we got a level up. Hey, suits me fine. Okay. We'll recommend skills. Oh, and then we get another feat. So, let's go down. Now we could do Epic Gate, or Epic Vampiric Feast. What does it recommend? Great Wisdom? What's our Wisdom at? It's not an even number. Well, if we do Epic Gate, we will have a more immediate benefit. And I do want all of my supplemental characters to have that spell. That way we can have three Baylors helping us, if need be. Okay, so we'll just pick that. And let's put it in our quick keys. There we go. I okay. So. Now, why don't we check out these bracers of artifice? It improves AC by six, but then it gives you an extra I think you level guess. eight wizard spell. And Sophia, you can't really carry anything extra, can you? 
I guess we'll just put on that belt of cloud giant strength. Let's see. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you get a magical resistance of five. Well, do I want to drop my AC two points for an extra so. level eight spell? So is this same Armon who overthrew Nephris the same one in our dream who claimed to be Akachi's brother? Find out next time. This is Big Los signing off and Tango Buendia.